In the last lecture, we looked at 5G roadmap as defined by 3GPP. In this video, we will look at 5G spectrum, which is a very important topic. I will not be explaining what is meant by frequency, band and spectrum in this video. If you are not familiar with these terms and would like to learn more before going further, look at the further reading section in the end. It contains links to videos explaining the basics in detail. A question that often arises is whether low frequencies are better or high frequencies are better. Unfortunately, there is no standard answer to this question. It just depends. For example, the for exactly the same setup like height, power, etc., higher frequency will decay faster than the lower frequency. This means the higher the frequency, the smaller the cell size generally. Here, you may be tempted to think that lower frequencies are better because you would get a larger cell. What a larger cell would mean is that now there are greater number of users in a given cell. Take for example, if a cell can only give a maximum of 100 Mbps at any instant of time. If there are 100 users, then each of them gets 1 Mbps. If the cell is smaller and there are just 25 users in that cell, then each of them can get 4 Mbps. So this is a very simplistic example, which is strictly not even correct, but you get an idea. Now you may be thinking that higher frequencies are better. Another point worth bearing in mind is that higher frequencies have poor penetration from outdoors to indoors as it gets reflected from the walls lower frequencies perform much better. As a result, a 5G network requires frequencies in multiple bands, not just a single band. The industry generally agrees that these bands are referred to as coverage layer, capacity layer and high throughput layer. The coverage layer comprises of frequency below 1 GHz or 1000 megahertz. The capacity layer comprises of frequencies in the range above 1 gigahertz and below 7.125 gigahertz. The reason this upper limit is specified for the capacity layer is because 3GPP has defined this as an upper limit in the frequency range 1 or FR1. The high throughput layers are frequencies from 24.25 gigahertz to 52.6 gigahertz. 3GPP defines these frequencies as frequency range 2 or FR2. These are also referred to as millimeter wave frequencies or mm wave frequencies. If you follow the 5G auctions or deployments, most popular bands for different layers are 700 megahertz in coverage layer, 3.5 gigahertz in capacity layer and 26 or 28 gigahertz in the high throughput layer. Typically, the operator has frequencies for all different generations of technologies. They may decide to start refarming the frequency from an older generation to a newer one. So here, 3G frequencies are being refarmed for 5G. And this is an example of 4G being refarmed for 5G. So this was 5G spectrum in brief. In the next lecture, we will look at 5G launches.